I'm Marguerite and thank you for watching my first ever makeup tutorial. This is a pretty dramatic makeup look. It's not for every day and this would be really good for a formal night out. So let me know what you think. I hope you like it. First I'm priming my eyelids. I always do this first before I put on any eyeshadow. It helps prevent my eyeshadow from moving or creasing or getting greasy as the day goes on. Now I'm taking the color Naked for my Naked Eyeshadow Palette and I am putting that in the crease of my eyelid. I'm going in clockwise and counterclockwise motions and also back and forth in windshield wiper motions and this will just help blend, the colors blend better and more seamlessly. It will help prevent lines. Next I'm going in with the color Buck and I am putting that over the Naked color. I'm going in back and forth windshield wiper motions and this will just help softly build up the color so that there's no harsh lines. And the more I go back and forth with that brush, blending, just the softer the colors will become and the better they will blend together. Next I'm going in with the color Smog and I'm going to be putting this in the outer corner of my eyelid. This is going to help open up my eyes and just make my eyes look bigger by concentrating the darker color in the outer corner of your eye. I'm trying not to bring it towards the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm going in with the Dark Horse and this is going to intensify the look. I'm concentrating this again in the outer V of my eyelid and I am being careful not to bring it in towards the inner of my eyelid and I'm only bringing this color towards the middle of my eyelid to help keep my eyes just look more big and more awake. Now I am just intensifying the color and and just adding more of that same dark horse color to the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm going in with the original blending brush and just going over that to prevent any harsh lines. Now I'm going in with a flat brush and I'm going to be going in with the color Half Baked and I'm going to be putting that on my eyelid in the inner corner and middle of my eyelid. I'm not going to go over the color Dark Horse, just kind of where there isn't any color. And I'm just building that color up more and more. Next I'm going in with this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art that I found at the drugstore and I'm using the gold end of it as my glitter glue. I'm going to be putting that on first before I put on this MAC glitter. So here I am putting on the Revlon glitter. It's kind of like a glitter eyeliner but I'm just using it as a glue. I'm going to be putting it all over the half-baked gold eyeshadow and now I'm dipping in my flat eyeshadow brush into that gold glitter by MAC and I'm putting that on top of the Revlon glitter. And I'm going over that just with several coats to build the gold glitter more and more just because I want it very gold. Now I'm doing the other eye. I'm just doing the same thing. First going in with the Revlon glitter stick and then going over that with the MAC gold glitter just to help intensify that gold. Now I'm going back in with the dark horse color for my Naked palette and, I, and I'm just going over what I originally did in the outer corner of my eye just to make sure there's no gold glitter over it because I want that to stand out more. Now I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and I'm using my Real Techniques blending sponge to apply it. Now I'm going in with my NYX Dark Circle Corrector. This is a peachy color and it will help brighten your eyes by putting this under your concealer and it helps get rid of any dark circles. Now I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Concealer in the color Vanilla and this just really helps brighten my eyes and get rid of any dark circles, especially if you have any sleepless nights or, you know, just whatever you're doing these days that's giving you those dark circles. So this will help get rid of it. It will help brighten your eyes. And I'm going in with my Real Techniques blending sponge to blend it out. I really like using this to blend out my concealer because it helps prevent it from getting into any lines or wrinkles. It help prevents it from just looking really cakey. Now I'm going in with my Tom Ford shade and illuminate in the color intensity one. And I, I'm using this cream. This is a cream. So I'm using this to do a cream contour before I go in with any powder and by using a cream this will just help intensify your powder when I go over it with powder and it it's really good to use a cream contour before a big night out or a long day or if you just have any big event it just helps your powder to stay better 
just like using a creamy foundation, you know, it will just help your powders stick better. Now I'm going in with a little contour on my nose and under my bottom lip that will help make my bottom lip look more fuller by putting it under there. And, you know, I just wanted to do a little nose contour. Now I'm blending it out. And, yep, just blending, blending, blending. Really can't ever blend enough. I know it looks like a lot of steps, but the more you blend, just the better it will look. It will prevent harsh lines and... The same goes for eyeshadow and eyelids. You just can never blend enough. So it'll just help you get a more natural look by blending. So blend for a good hour and you'll be good to go. Now I'm going in with my Becca highlighter and I'm just putting it on the tops of my cheekbones. And I don't do this every day, but this is just good for a big event or, you know, a night out. You want to sparkle a little, have a little glow on your cheekbones. So I'm first going in with a cream highlight and I like doing this before powder highlight. It will just help it stand out better and intensify my powder highlight. So I'm putting it on the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, and my chin, and a little on my forehead. And now I'm going to set all my cream products that I just used. So first I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'm putting that under my eyes and this will help prevent any caking. And now I'm going to set the rest of my face with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores HD Powder. I'm going to concentrate this on my apples of my cheeks and my forehead because that is where my pores are the largest. So I'm going in circular motion, setting my face. Now I'm going in with my NARS Eda brush in the Anastasia Contour Kit. I am using that middle color, the more gray, ashy toned color. Gray color is good to use for contouring because it mimics the natural shadows that your face makes. So I'm putting that under my cheekbones and along the hairline of my face, under my lip, and along my nose. Now I am bronzing. I'm going in with my Giorgio Armani bronzer and I'm starting from the tip the top of my ear and then bringing that towards like the middle of my cheek. You don't want to bring that too close to your mouth. You kind of want to stop like mid cheek. Otherwise, if you bring that all the way to your mouth, you'll start to look drag. And then I'm also going along the hairline of my face just where the sun naturally hits. Now I'm going in with my blush and I'm just concentrating that on the apples of my cheeks. And then I am blending that in with my bronzer just to help it look more natural and blend in with the bronzer. So I'm going in with this duo fiber stippling brush and just going in circular motions all over my face and that will help it, the blush and the bronzer naturally blend in together. Now for highlighting, I'm going in with that middle color in my hourglass lighting palette and just going on the tips of my cheekbone. Now I'm going in with the lightest color in the Anastasia contour kit and I'm going to be cleaning up my contour. So I'm just going to be putting that color directly underneath where I contoured and it will just help sharpen the contour and help it stand out more. And I just blended it in a little more with that brush. Now I am going to be filling in my brows. I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz and I personally hate this step, but um, pretty much just go along the natural hairs of your eyebrows. And I usually start at the bottom of my eyebrow and just with the natural light strokes. The key is to go very light handed because you definitely don't want really dark eyebrows. That just looks very unnatural and I do not like that look, but I just try to go as light as I can and just fill in all the missing hairs. And there you go, there you go. All right, now the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in Black and a MAC angled eyeliner brush. And I'm just creating short little strokes first rather than doing one long stroke. I can't do that, otherwise it would be one big mess. So I just try to make short little strokes and just kind of connect those strokes starting in the front of my eye. And now I will be flicking it out and just going over that. And now bringing it back, just making sure everything is evenly connected. I just try to take my time with this and go as slow as I can. Now I'm lining my waterline with a creamy white eyeliner. This will just help brighten my eyes and help them look more white and more awake. So first I go in with this by NARS. And then I used a gold eyeliner over that. And then now I'm kind of smoking it out with a, I 
think I'm using just a light brown eyeshadow just to kind of smoke it out a little. And now I'm going back in with that Revlon um, gold glitter and just putting that in the inner corner of my eyes just for a little pop of gold. And next I am lining my lips. I'm using the MAC Be Spoken For lip liner and then I'm going over that with a red lipstick. I believe this one is Blake's Red by L'Oreal. It's the lipstick that Blake Lively created with L'Oreal. I think it's L'Oreal. And then I'm just building the color up. There we go. And now, and now to clean up around my lips, I'm going back in with that NARS concealer and I'm putting it above my Cupid's bow and that will just help it highlight it a little. But it's also helping to clean up. If you ever go out of the lines, you can use a concealer and use a tiny little brush and you can pretty much get rid of any mistakes that you did. Now I'm going in with this red lipstick. This is by Stilla. I don't know if I said that right, but um, you know the brand. It's at Sephora. And there you have it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!